Alrighty, let's head over to the next game here. What do we got up next here? We're going 49ers at the Packers, and folks, we gotta watch our man Aaron Rodgers. The 49ers offense didn't do anything all game. What is there to watch? Jimmy Garoppolo not getting it done? Okay. Um, so... We got to critique Aaron Rodgers like we do. We've broken down all of his playoff performances earlier this offseason, folks, and we're going to be doing the same here. So well, let's just watch the third downs here quickly. Why could they not get it done? Was it Aaron Rodgers missing the throws? Does Aaron Rodgers deserve all the blame, none of the blame, half the blame, quarter, four, fifth, 12, 30 seconds of the blame. How much blame is on Aaron Rodgers here? So let's quickly go through this. Uh, we're just, I mean, they floundered all game long, folks. Once again, 10 points, absolutely pathetic. They put up the least amount of points all week long. Once again, Aaron Rodgers putting up the most, the least amount of points, and that's y'all's greatest of all time. We can, we can never get behind that, folks. I will never get behind that, folks. Never. So, let's uh, critique some Aaron Rodgers here. Let's start with the touchdown. Let's get that, but it's a touchdown run. It's a, I mean, it's a running play right here. Um, just running up the middle. Bingo, bango. Aaron Jones up the middle. Getting it. Following his blocker. Staying on his feet. Touchdown there. Aaron Rodgers really not much to do on this one. Uh, he had a 14-yard pass, a 19-yard pass, 10-yard pass, 11-yard pass. Solid work, but didn't get it done in the red zone. And we know, you know, Aaron Rodgers doesn't really get it done in the red zone. All right, and then we get the fumble. We get the big old fumble play here. By uh, Mercedes Lewis on the second drive. Truly, truly heartbreaking there. We told you all that was the true turning point of this game. Second drive, still driving. So here we go. Let's take it up to the third drive, punt drive. Or we got second and six incomplete and third and six incomplete. Aaron Rodgers not getting it done. Let's quickly see. Here we go. Dropping back to pass. Trying to go to the back out of the backfield. And it is just incomplete. Let's quickly see anything open here that Aaron Rodgers should have thrown. Once again, Aaron Rodgers only threw to Devontae Adams, only threw to Aaron Jones. We see it right here, folks. Uh, let's bring up the stats. Here we go. Aaron Jones, nine catches for 129 yards. Devontae Adams, nine catches for 90 yards. This third highest, Alan Lazard, one catch. Only one target for Alan Lazard. One target for Mercedes Lewis, and we can agree with that because he fumbled the ball. I get not going back to him. One target for Randall Cobb. One target for Josiah Dugara. Two targets for Dominique Delaney, or Daphne, excuse me. So you're not even targeting anybody. You're targeting your best receiver, and then the dink and dunk option what is that folks truly are you winning a game by targeting two players no of course not so what a just absolute flounder job here by this Packers team and Aaron Rodgers you got this man over the middle of the field open this is open right here Aaron Rodgers can make this throw easy peasy but he takes the dink down the check down on second and six once again the interceptions always in the back of his mind not wanting to make the mistake and you not wanting to make a mistake is the biggest mistake you can make. You must be confident in your ability. And I still don't understand why Aaron Rodgers is not confident in his ability. He's one, his, his balls are beautiful, folks. <laughs> uh, phrasing. Uh, but um, uh, what we just watched, what did we watch a couple weeks ago? Um, where we were just, wow, wow. We were doing the MVP debate where we broke down the film of Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and all those throws by Aaron Rodgers just left us saying wow, wow, we were gushing over the throws that he was making and how beautiful though all those passes looked and then we watched Tom Brady we're like yeah, these are good there was no wow factor watching Tom Brady throw the ball there's an absolute wow factor watching Aaron Rodgers throw the football but here he is not, not trusting himself to throw the ball down the field, that ball was wide open over the middle of the field on second and six, you pick up the first down, you you pick up 10 plus yards there, but he doesn't take the throw. I don't get it, folks. I truly do not get Aaron Rodgers. Was this a purposeful sell on Aaron Rodgers' part? Uh, potentially, I wouldn't put that again. I wouldn't I would not put that out of the realm of Aaron Rodgers' potential. There, we know he he hold he'll hold grudges. I mean, that's Aaron Rodgers' personality to a T. He would hold grudges. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell is going on with Aaron Rodgers. All I know is that his greatest of all time argument is 1,000% out the window now. Maybe there was still 1% heading into the season, but all that is out the window now. Never the greatest of all time anymore. Can never do that. So, here we go. Third and six now. 
After the incomplete pass by Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, plenty of time to throw. He's going to roll out of the pocket, buying time. There's an open throw right there, and he throws it. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you taking that big of a shot when you only need to pick up the first down? Yeah, this is kind of becoming open the defenders all on him but you got this route on the sideline breaking toward the sideline as you're running toward the sideline right here he comes back to the ball throw this this is open here we go bingo bango you see him you see him and then you actively throw it behind the man to another receiver who's well more covered so Aaron Rodgers just not seeing or making the right read and have we seen that that all the time by Aaron Rodgers this was a complete flounder job by the man folks oh my goodness all right here we go next drive that ends in a punt all the drives after that touchdown drive were basically punts yeah they scored a field goal but is that good no Aaron Rodgers only scoring one field goal one touchdown what is that so here we go. Why did it flounder here? We get a third and eight here. He's going to take a sack. He's on his Joe Burrow shit right here. Aaron Rodgers dropping back the pass. Still decent time to throw the ball. He's going to try and step up in the pocket. Unfortunately, gets brought down. Let's quickly see anything open quickly. I know the pressure got there decently. Nothing truly open. Yeah, nothing truly open. So all right, we'll give Aaron Rodgers the break on that one. For the sack, here we go, next drive. Why does it flounder? They're behind the sticks. We get a third and 11 here. Well, let's take it at the second 11 where he gets a sack. It's only a sack for no loss. We get a second and 11 and a third and 11 where he only throws it nine yards and it's fourth and two, so they got to punt the ball here. But let's take it at the second and 11 here. Here we go. He's going to take a sack, dropping back to pass. Plenty of time to throw the ball. There's a dink right there. Um, there's a dink route open. He doesn't take it. This route's open on the sideline on the left side. I know he's rolling out to the right here. He's going to try and take off with it. Gets tripped up. Once again, Aaron Rodgers, you're not that guy to run the ball here. And he gets tripped up from behind. Bad mistake. We saw Mac Jones not get tripped up from behind in their playoff game. We made a little bit of a note, for, a note of that. Trusting his speed. High stepping out of the tackle. Pocket awareness. Aaron Rodgers didn't have that hair. He goes down for a, you know, a sack. That really probably shouldn't have been a sack, but they counted it as a sack. Then we get third and 11, and he's going to dink it down two yards short. Let's see. Right decision, right decision, wrong decision. Here we go. Aaron Rodgers dropping back to pass. He's going to float this one, and he dinks it down, folks. He just dunk it down, and that was the back out of the backfield making all that nine-yard progress. Yes, the defense got there decently quickly, so we're not going to knock Aaron Rodgers too much on this one. Really not. Oh, my God. You got this dude wide open. He, this is a post route that would go for a touchdown. Holy moly. If you put it all the way out here up front, that is a touchdown. And Aaron Rodgers can easily make this pass, folks. We're talking about one of the greatest quarterbacks here, folks. And he doesn't see this becoming to be open. Man, oh, man. All right. All right. He threw the ball maybe before it truly broke open, but... Man, oh man, just an unfortunate miss there. An unfortunate miss. So not going to knock Aaron Rodgers too much on this one. But overall, that sack, I think we knock him a little bit on that. All right, and then trying to do something right before halftime. Uh, they try a field goal, and it is no good. No good there. Let's watch this deep ball right here. Let's get some praise on Aaron Rodgers so y'all don't come at me at the comments of bashing Aaron Rodgers. Let's watch this 75-yard pass here. How does this look? Standing tall in the pocket. Let's it fly. It's wide open. There we go. That's vintage Rodgers right there, and it gets uh, all the way down to the 15-yard line so they can kick a field goal right before half, but it unfortunately missed. Unfortunate there. They lose by three they had it right there that is absolutely heartbreaking all right next drive first drive of the third quarter here we get a pass and complete pass and complete six yard pass so this is all kind of on Aaron Rodgers right here folks what do we got here we go first and 10 at the 32 yard line of the Packers play action plenty of time to throw he's going to step up in the pocket here really nothing open and then just has to throw it away damn 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 these 49ers their defense we got to praise this defense folks like we just praised that Titans defense we still have to praise this 49 
49ers defense. Yes, there is still some knocks on Aaron Rodgers, but overall, this 49ers defense was really kind of clamping up, so we still give this 49ers team some respect in that regard. But here we go. We get a second and 10 from the 32-yard line still. Incomplete pass. Uh, pump fake. There was stuff open here. You throw it in the middle of the field, and then it's late, and it's underthrown right on the ground there. So once again, Aaron Rodgers not making the pass here. That's a five. That's a Bay, that's going to be close to the first down right there, folks. But he just cannot make the throw there a little bit too low. And also the receiver not making a spectacular catch. But that sets up third and ten. And then here we go. It only goes for six yards. Once again, played to the marker. The last, you know, third and long, they dinked it down. Here we go. Aaron Rodgers dropping back to pass, stepping up in the pocket, navigating the pocket, and then just dinks it down. And there are open players down the field here. Here we go. Over the middle of the field, right here, crossing route, Devontae Adams, right there. You throw it to him. Instead, he dinks it down on third and ten. 10, third and 10, and you only get six yards. Aaron Rodgers being ultra conservative here, and I know he was pressured in this game, but it's Aaron Rodgers. I mean, we cannot give this man any free passes, folks, truly, just like we really can't give Tom Brady any free passes. We're talking the best of the best out here floundering in a playoff game. This is where you want your Aaron Rodgers to make these throws. You know you're going to get pressure. Defenses always step up in the playoffs. Defense wins championships. Why? Because they lock it up in the playoffs, folks. Why did the Patriots win? Because they locked it up on the two-yard line against Seattle. Defense wins. Aaron Rodgers must be able. He. It's not like this is his first playoff game or a second playoff game or his third or even his fourth. Maybe if it was his fifth playoff game, maybe, maybe he still needs some more experience, but this is more than his fifth playoff game, folks. There's no free passes here with Aaron Rodgers, and he's just missing and dinking and dunking and not seeing the true field here. And I get he was pressured, but just because you face a little pressure, you lose everything. You lose everything that makes you great. We cannot give this man any free passes, folks. Truly. Damn. Aaron Rodgers, man. How, what a disappointment. Y'all don't think I want to see Aaron Rodgers be great? Y'all don't think I want to see somebody rival Tom Brady so we can have an actual discussion about the greatest of all time argument and truly be 50-50 and having to revisit the topic maybe every single week like they do on first take for some reason that you don't need to, uh, but we digress on that. But I would love to have Aaron Rodgers win more than one ring. I would love if Aaron Rodgers was one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and we could truly say that and mean it. He is the greatest of all time, but we can't, folks. We cannot do that at all. What a flounder right here. An absolute flounder. Aaron Flounder Rodgers. Screw the clown. Screw the egg on the face cl clown. We're getting Flounder Rodgers. All the aquatic animals. Is, is, turtle, is, are they kind of, they're kind of aquatic, no? Tur tortoise, turtle, one of them's aquatic. One of them goes in water. Uh, so aquatic Aaron Rodgers, okay? Flounder boy. <laughs> flounder boy. Man, big time disappointing, folks. Truly disappointing. What else do we got here? Field goal drive. Finally, they score some points here. Let's take it uh, from the red zone here. Did they even throw in the red zone? Let's see. Let's take it from their first down here, their last set of first downs. Uh, we get a two-yard run on first and goal, a five-yard penalty that puts them behind the sticks. We get Aaron Rodgers throwing for two yards on second and goal from the 10. We get him getting sacked. So here we go. Let's take it from here. Let's take it from the two-yard pass. Why is he dinking and dunking? Aaron Rodgers in the red zone. How many times has this burned the man in the playoffs? Every single time? Every single time Aaron Rodgers loses a playoff game, it, there is one flounder, one at least. At minimum, one flounder here. And they were only able to get into the red zone like once in this game. So um, this is their one time in the red zone, and they floundered. Um, Aaron Rodgers didn't throw the touchdown. That's why they scored the touchdown. You should have just ran it three straight times from the 10-yard line. Why are we trusting Aaron Rodgers in the red zone when this is literally his kryptonite in the playoffs? Riddle us that. So here we go. Aaron Rodgers from the 10-yard line is only going to be a two-yard pass. Here we go. Uh, and it's just a simple flat route here to the back out of the backfield. And it's a 
poor throw because the running back is having trouble getting it uh, way too high here. And then as he's stumbling to try to get the ball, the defense is up to make the tackle, but the running back fell anyway before the defenders even got there. So design play, you probably should have hit this out route. You should have hit this out route on the right sideline right there. You've got two options. You can take your pick. One of that's going for a touchdown, but Aaron Rodgers decides to throw it to the left. Once again, if this is a design play where you throw it to the back out of the backfield, we can't knock Aaron Rodgers, but at the same time, you got two wide open receivers on the right side. You got one defender for two receivers. What are we doing? So, in, should he have seen that post snap or pre snap? Should have been looking that way immediately. And then, yeah, I mean, as soon as the safety drops, yeah, you kind of know you got two on one on this side. Man, oh man, what are we doing? This is we're talking red zone, folks. Come on, can't flounder in the red zone. And then here we go, third and goal. Another flounder here. Gonna take a sack. Five wide. Plenty of time to throw. And then takes the sack. All right, let's see anything open here. Truly looked very well covered. But let's take it. Get a second look here. Five wide. We've got the end routes here. This is well covered. Back of the end zone is covered. Front of the end zone is covered. Man, oh man. Yeah, once again, very well done for this 49ers team to truly lock up here. And once again, Matt LaFleur, maybe, you know, some blame on him to not run the ball a little bit more. Aaron Jones, only 12 rushes. Let's run the ball a little bit more. I think, you know, that's the true takeaway here for the playoffs. Let's run the ball and control the clock. That's probably the best way to play it. The Titans, Ryan Tannehill threw three interceptions interceptions and still only lost by three why because they were running the ball pretty solidly effectively and uh you know Derrick Henry had like 20 rushes so let's run the ball a little bit more Aaron Rodgers and company can't get it done in the red zone they have to settle for a field goal then we get the block punt here and then uh potential to try to win the game to try to do something let's take it um let's take it right here we get second and 11 Third and 11, pass incomplete. Here we go. Let's set up the scene. Here we go. We got second and 11 with three minutes left, and uh, this is a tie game at this point. Tie game. Just got to try and, you know, kick a field goal. You probably win it three and a half minutes left here. Second and 11 from the Green Bay 28-yard line. We get back-to-back -back incompletions, dropping back to pass. Aaron Rodgers, I mean, just staring down the receiver all the way. Very well done for the defender to jump the route here. But once again, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, you've got the dink and dunk right here wide open to you. Tries to force it down a little bit too much there, and that's an incompletion, setting up third and 11. And then here we go, the last Aaron Rodgers pass of his season. Empty backfield, dropping back to pass. And you've got the wide open pass down the field. But he threw it to the wrong guy. He threw it to the double covered guy instead of the single covered guy that was absolutely getting right behind the defender right here. Aaron Rodgers takes the wrong matchup. Aaron Rodgers not being able to read the field all game long. That's your goat? Somebody that missed wide open throw after throw after throw, dinking down those throws or choosing the wrong receiver to go to? Folks, this is all on Aaron Rodgers, 100%. Another miserable performance here in the playoffs by Aaron Rodgers where they only needed to score 14 points. If you tell me, hey, to win the game, all you have to do is score 14 points, I am betting my entire future on the Packers to win that game. You're telling me Aaron Rodgers can't put up 14 points? Are you out of your gourd? Well, we all must have been because here he is only putting up 10 points. This is on. Aaron Rodgers absolutely folks absolutely 49ers win 13 to 10 Aaron Rodgers you should honestly just retire that would be the best thing for your legacy and uh, honestly the fans are even turning on Aaron Rodgers so truly not the greatest of all time anymore Stephen A. Smith Stephen A. Smith who is obviously the biggest supporter in the national media on Aaron Rodgers, he's a bad man. Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. And what did Stephen A. Smith say this week? Aaron Rodgers is no longer the bad man. No longer. So, truly, the fans are turning on him. And I never thought I would see the day that the fans turn on Aaron Rodgers, honestly. I never thought I would see that. Well, here we are. Aaron Rodgers, your legacy is truly done now. 
just retire, hang it up. You can that uh, if you win a Super Bowl, yeah, maybe you can win them back, but it probably wouldn't be with the Packers if you leave. So we'll see what happens, but. Man, oh man, Aaron Rodgers, the biggest flounder of the year. And we didn't think you could flounder more than Carson Wentz, but here we are. Here here we are. Aaron Rod do we dare say Aaron Rodgers is worse than Carson Wentz? Uh, no, we can't go that far, but you're still in the same breath. We still mentioned you in the same sentence, and that is not good alone, okay? Packers lose 13-10, Aaron Rodgers flounders big time.